Hi, it's me. The replaceable boy Ryan. You probably wonder what's the deal with the title. I will explain it in a moment. I recently posted a message in which I was talking about problems with finishing MM10GP. To be honest, I didn't know if I would finish this project at all. The crisis that attacked me deprived me of any motivation. But you know what? I am 30 years old, and life has taught me that things like motivation do not fall from the sky just like money, happiness, stability, boobs. You have to search for these things on your own. And unexpectedly I found my motivation. This time I'm not working for myself or for you, but for someone else. There's a kid who fell into a coma a few months ago and his parents raised money on a crowdfunding portal to cover the costs of his rehabilitation. It so happens that I know his father we went to the same primary school, and in high school we had some jam sessions where he sang and I played the guitar. Wow, what a surprise. And I can honestly admit, he's a really decent guy, and he didn't deserve such a fate. Several charity events for this child were cancelled because of corona shit, so the family didn't collect much money. Great timing bat. That's why I have a proposition for you. Or rather a request. Within 24 hours MM10GP will be released on Bandcamp. Sometimes, some of you sent me money when a new album is released. But this time I'm asking you not to pay me any money. Instead, donate a few dollars to this child. I'll try to make sure everyone can download this album for free. I'm going to provide additional links to Mediafire. If any money from you goes to my account, I will also make a transfer, but I would prefer Bandcamp not to steal the revenue share this time. Let's do something good for good people. Change of topic. Unfortunately, the problem of my crisis has not been fully resolved. Recently, I had too many side jobs. Record it, mix it, do a barrel roll, etc. In conjunction with my main job and my activities on YouTube, my hobby has become my curse. I realized that I had to give up something, but there's no good solution. If I quit my job, I'll starve. If I give up YouTube, I will kill the only thing I'm so proud of. That's why I decided that the thing I will give up is... Regularity. In 2016 I started publishing my GPs and parts, and that was good for those times I was unemployed so I had a lot of time. And the thought that I had to make it with the next episode for a specific date gave me self-discipline. But I didn't want to realize that this model stopped working because I have a job and a lot of other duties. That's why we're going back to the past, and from now on I will publish just complete GPs, and extended tracks. You may not believe me, but in this way I'll avoid deadlines and hence stress and lack of motivation, and my music would be more refined before publication. I hope this change will not be too controversial. Ah, and one more thing. As I mentioned earlier, I change plans for further projects. Instead of large GPs like MM10, I will focus on smaller soundtracks. It will also be a relief for me. I have already decided what to do next. But for the moment I will say that this is not a Mega Man game. Of course, before I start working on new music, I will take a break to finish other things. Be patient. Change of topic. I am sorry to say that I am forced to withdraw from Spotify, iTunes etc, at least for now. There are two reasons for this. First, licensing and legal issues. Let's start with the fact that I have published several songs on the above-mentioned platforms via Distrokid. I did it to assess interest and profitability, but the results were not satisfactory. Also, when publishing my covers via Distrokid, I have to pay $12 a year for one track. However, I found another broker who only charges $10 per song, and this is a one-time fee. On this basis, from time to time I could invest several hundred dollars in the publication of one of my albums, and in a few years the investment would pay off. But another obstacle appeared. To obtain a license for the cover, the original music must be released in the US. And as you probably guessed, Mega Man is Japanese. Kangra too. And Jojo? I don't know if I recorded any non-Japanese cover. Secondly, I was also affected by the aftermath of the coronavirus, namely, I earn less. 
Therefore, investing money in licenses is not an option until this madness is over. But I'll try to come back to this topic in a few months. Perhaps new opportunities will appear. That is all for today. Remember my request. See you soon. Quack. Postscriptum, Go theme from Final Fantasy VII Remake is the new Gaia theme. It goes with everything.